Hello everybody, it's cold and rainy outside isn't it Reggie? It really is, but we've come inside of the Emmanuel Church building to do another assembly! And it's another assembly on Jesus. Uh, what happened to Jesus when he was very little? That's what we've been looking at, Reggie, isn't it? When he was very young indeed. That's right. We've heard that uh, when he was there in Bethlehem with Joseph, his dad, Mary, his mum, that some wise men came from the east. The east is a long way away. Yeah, it wasn't just next door. It wasn't a neighbouring village. They came from the east and brought him some gifts and those gifts were gold and frankincense and myrrh like in that song are we going to sing that again we're not today we're going to sing a different one okay that'll be good won't it when we get to that point but do you remember two weeks ago we heard about the fact that there was a grumpy king around at the time and that king's name was Herod it was Herod grumpy king Herod was grumpy why was he grumpy exactly because he wanted the gold, frankincense and myrrh. Uh, not quite right, but in a manner of speaking, he thought that he was going to be more important than any new king. Uh, he therefore was a little bit upset to find that there was a king who was a baby, who the wise men were saying would be the king of all the Jews, a very special king indeed. Jo he was very jealous, King Herod was very jealous. That's why he was grumpy. Yeah, you do get grumpy if you're jealous, don't you? So, what happened next? We, here's the next instalment of our true story from Matthew's Gospel. Now, God warned the wise men in a dream not to go back to King Herod. So, they went home to their own country by a different way. After they left, an angel of the Lord came to Joseph in a dream. The angel said, Get up! Take the child Jesus and his mother Mary and escape to Egypt. King Herod will start looking for the child to get rid of him. He's in danger, so stay in Egypt until I tell you to return. So Joseph got up and left for Egypt during the night with Jesus and Mary. When Herod saw that the wise men had tricked him, he was very angry. So he gave an order to get rid of all the baby boys in Bethlehem and in all the area around Bethlehem who were two years old or younger. This was in keeping with the time he learned from the wise men. But Jesus escaped and Joseph and Mary stayed in Egypt with Jesus until Herod died. After King Herod died, an angel of the Lord came to Joseph in a dream once again. And the angel said, get up, take the child and his mother and go back to Israel. The people who were trying to kill the child are now dead. So Joseph took Jesus and Mary and went back to Israel. They went to a town called Nazareth and lived there. And in all of this, what God had said through the prophets came true. And like the people of Israel, Jesus came out of Egypt. There we go, that's what happened. So Joseph and Mary escaped with the very young Jesus, first of all to Egypt and then back home again to Nazareth. And grumpy King Herod was not able to track down Jesus, his rival king. Uh, so Jesus escaped now then reggie it's time for a game uh, I want, i'm going to show you four pictures and i want you to say if you think that they're all connected or if there's an odd one out okay sounds simple right well, here we go we have a cycle helmet we have a nest we have a high vis jacket and we have a life ring okay cycle helmet a nest a high vis jacket and a life ring. I know the connection. 
they are all wonderful things to wear okay what a cycle helmet you wear on your head high vis jacket looks very funky okay you wouldn't be missed wearing one of those would you um, a life ring do you go out wearing a life ring you might do and a nest you could wear that on your head too underneath the cycle helmet if you wore it under the helmet no one would see and you wouldn't feel silly that's not the connection that's not the connection reggie i'm sorry but you're you're kind of onto something with wearing the uh, cycle helmet the high vis jacket the life ring if you were to wear those what would you be nice and warm no what else would you be i suppose you'd be safe aha yes you're right all of those things would keep you safe as would a nest a nest keeps eggs safe doesn't it so all of them keep you safe but the nest is for birds and all the other things are for us do you get it where's this going david well do you know what we found from the true story today from the bible is that god kept jesus safe god kept jesus safe it was looking pretty dicey for joseph and mary and jesus at one point but god made sure that he uh, kept them safe he got them to egypt and then he got them back from egypt and protected them from bad king herod and he protected them from bad king herod because of something in particular do you know what that was he wanted to make sure that the gold frankincense and myrrh got back to nazareth in one piece no it's it's not that it's not that at all he wanted to be sure that jesus was protected because jesus had a very important job to do jesus was going to grow up to live as god's son uh, to die on a cross and be raised to new life so god had to keep jesus safe and he did he kept him safe and that's great news for us everybody uh, because god kept jesus safe jesus could do all of those things and because he did all of those things living the perfect life dying on the cross being raised to new life it means that we can be friends with god now it was all part of god's plan reggie are you looking at me like that because there's a song coming up there is there really is we're going to sing god has a plan do you remember this one we haven't had it for a while god has a plan it's a big kingdom plan and it's all about jesus this is why god kept uh, the young jesus safe because jesus was going to be so important god loved the world so much he gave jesus to the world to die and to be raised again shall we have that now i think we're better here we go Who will bring 
ring God's good and blessing setting people free For God he loved the world so much He sent his only son Into the world so that if we believe In him we will not love that song hope you enjoyed it too i'm going to say a prayer now if you want to join in you could say amen at the end that means i agree it's up to you though let's be quiet now father god thank you that you carried out your plan to send jesus to keep him safe so that he would live the perfect life uh, die on a cross and be raised to new life so that as the bible says we could be friends with you amen Amen. Now, we've got one more assembly before the half-term holiday. We're going to find out what happened to Jesus when he was just a little bit older next week. Hope that you can join me then. I look forward to speaking to you then. Have a good week. Bye for now. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.